I'm going to do some dog photography with my 27 pound Canon camera. And if you shop through any of the links in the video description below, I will get a commission and no extra cost to you. And you can also subscribe to the channel, where I'm going to put it, and that will, that will both help. So, dog photography with my Canon camera, which is a Canon 6D. We're going to go and use that with my dogs in a run-free field, which is where we're off to now. And we've only got the run-free field for one hour, which is why I'm just doing the intro in the car on the way. So the Canon camera I've had for absolutely years, the Canon 6D, full frame, 4.5 frames per second, and like most of my camera gear, just lately, what I'll do is trade something in to buy something new. And my 6D, in November, we're in April now, was worth £70, which I thought was quite funny. But just the other day I put a quote in and it's now worth £27. I admit the camera is well, well, well used. Things don't work on it. The little button on the top, the dial's fallen off, the screen's cracked. But that is how a camera should be when you are ready to buy a new camera. It should be well used. But there's still plenty of life, I think, left in the 6D. Oh, and I'm going to go and show you, like I say, with my dogs which is a older English setter, she's nearly nine, and Buzzy, the puppy, who's seven months old, is like a giant, and he needs to burn loads of energy off. The best place to do it is in the run-free field. And what I've also got brought today, or well, got the other day, is the Canon 400mm L-Series F5.6 Canon lens, this lens has no image stabilisation, so between the two, the Canon 6D at 4.5 frames per second and the Canon 400mm 5.6, we've got quite a slow combination for taking action shots, which is what I'm going to be doing in the run-free field. Now when we take these dogs in the field, it is about them, it's not about getting photos. I obviously want to get some photos of the dogs, but it's their time to have a good blast and you know, to be honest, the, I've got an old dog pulling me and a young dog dragging me. And what they need is the run-free field. So it's their time to have a good blast and whatever photos we get are it. There's probably not going to be many portraits because I'm not going to be making them do anything. I want them to be free, which is why I use a 400mm Canon lens. Because I'm going to be working at quite a distance from the dogs. Because it's a five-acre field where we're going. So they can just run around and do as they like. Just back to the second hand gear, Wex is very good, I know they're only given, offering me £27, which is not having my camera for that, but Wex in the UK I do get quite a lot of second hand gear, the link will be in the description below to that, but also MPB, MPB when I've put a quote in for that 60 said £110, but they have not asked for so many, you know, specifics about the camera, so no doubt if I sent that camera, which we're going to use today, to MPB, it'll probably be worth 20 quid. But I'll put the link to both links to both in the video description below. But it is worth looking at second hand gear, you can save a fortune. Okay, the camera settings I'll probably probably be using today for action shots with the Canon 60, what's worth about 27 quid, and the 400 mil 5.6 lens will no doubt I'll need a shutter speed of one two thousandth of a second for that lens to get the action shots I want and that is a bit of an automatic setting for me from doing dog event photography I need to guarantee the shots if you've got a 70 to 200 mil lens one one sixteen hundredth of a second would work too and they are quite high shutter speeds but as I say when I was doing dog event photography I had to guarantee I'm going to get the shots you can either use AV TV or you can use your manual mode it's up to you. Don't be. You, you don't want to use automatic. TV is gonna. You're gonna be able to dial in your shutter speed. So if you know on your certain lens that you want, like the 400 mil, a shutter speed of one two thousandth of a second, then on TV you can dial that in. But it's gonna choose your aperture, your, your f number. I don't use TV, but I do know some event photographers what will use TV. And then you can either put your ISO on automatic or work it out, but your shutter speed is going to be fixed. AV, I quite like AV, I've used AV quite a lot of times. 
that way you're going to control your aperture so if you're going to work at f8 you'll dial that in and then you're going to have to increase your iso to get your shutter speed up you're going to increase your iso to let more light into the camera to get your shutter speed fast enough so that your action shots are not blurry or well, then you can go into full manual mode and just control every you know dialing everything what you want on the 6d you've not got any focus tracking you've not got animal eye detection like you've got on the mirrorless cameras you've got about nine focus points which i use a single focal, fo focal point and also the camera wants to be set to eye servo so you're continuously focusing i use back button focusing and the camera also wants to be set on continuous shooting so when you press the shutter button you take more than one shot and in the case of the canon 6d it's 4.5 frames as opposed to the new mirrorless cameras what are about 15 20 or 30 frames per second so when you're using this canon 6d which has got a very very slow frame rate it's more about timing the shot which is quite exciting to do than just pointing and pressing and with your animal eye detection and focus tracking you can't really go wrong with those mirrorless cameras on 30 frames per second but with this you really do have to nail the shot which is quite quite good fun and there's no pressure with your own dogs step back a bit go on Gertie right come on oh it's gonna rain <laughs> okay. let's have a look oh hang on I've got my shutter speed to 1600th of a second. I'm going to have to be quick here because it's going to chuck it down, isn't it? Not even in focus, that one. Oh, it is. Gertie's nice and steady, she doesn't need a fast shutter speed. We've been in the field for about 45 minutes and I'm afraid I absolutely chucked it down the rain. Bloody awful, how typical. The dogs have had a damn good run, but my £27 camera has been fine. I think I've got some quite decent photos. That 400mm Canon lens was new yesterday, it's the first time I've used it and I'm pretty happy with it because the previous one I had was amazing and I, you know, I thought it could have been a one-off. but the photos look fine exactly what i expected from it and it's not a one-off video in that field because i've actually booked 50 one hour slots i've not got them booked but i've got 50 slots in that field so when it's not raining i can do another video i'll be doing photos all the time of the dogs in that field because the puppy needs the exercise so keep a look on the dog's facebook page the dog's website and the photography website for more little videos and the photos coming out of that field with different lenses what I've got too. I'll bring the photos up what we did get in there in the rain um, and with the sun it was bright sunshine there was all sorts going off in there which is normal outdoor photography what I do normal outdoor dog photography just exactly typical <laughs> what I'm used to and the good thing about my little 27 pound camera is that I'm not bothered if it gets wet. Really not bothered. And the idea, if you have anything in life, just use it. Don't save it for later. What are you saving it for? Use it. Which is why my camera's worth £27. Because it is so well used. It's been chucked about. Out in the rain, out in the snow, out in all, all conditions. You know, I'm not saying abuse your stuff, but use it. Um, and we haven't got much video footage, I don't know if I said. Because the Canon R10 is not weather sealed. So I had to put the video away but i say i'll bring up the photos and the settings what we did get in there but yeah i'm quite impressed with what we got now if you um like subscribe and there'll be more videos like this coming it's not just a one-off one because i'm going to be in there quite a bit with 50 slots to go at aren't i <laughs> and i want to get some photos of the dogs while they're well the pup while he's young 
because the dogs, you know, they don't live actually that long and they're not, when they're young, they soon grow. It's not, you know, blink and they're a big dog. There you go. See you next time.